Hello beautiful people, I am DJ and welcome or welcome back to my channel Indian Cooks and Books and today I will be wrapping up the 9 books that I read in the month of May. Let's get started right away shall we? I will be first talking about the book that I read on my birthday and made a separate blog about is I want to die but I want to eat topoki. I also made topoki in that video for the first time and it was delicious if you want to check it out somewhere in the cards and in the description. This book talks about publishing company employee. She is a social media manager and she is suffering from a low level depression called dysthemia. She goes to therapy sessions with a psychiatrist and she is telling how she feels. She is going through a lot of anxiety as well and she also has a low self-esteem because of her family background and some experiences in the childhood and she tells the uh, a psychiatrist is very very vulnerable things about herself and the psychiatrist helps her by saying that this is normal a lot of people feel this way it doesn't have to be extreme like extremely depressed or extremely awesome or happy like you are bound to have some unhappy things or this is pretty normal so this is the message that I took away from it and I liked it a lot so you should definitely check it out and topoki is delicious so if you get to eat it right <laughs> the next book was she and her cat by makoto shinkai and this was a very cute cat it talks about four women and four cats who rescue each other save each other somebody finds the their life purpose because they meet a cat and they get inspired from the cat somebody finds their self-confidence because they are able to rescue a cat and they are able to bond with the cat like establish a nice connection and relationship with the cat and the cat also give back the love that is being given to them and the cats talk in this book and this is amazing <laughs> it's very very cute i really enjoyed this book a lot and i would highly recommend it if you are having a little down day it's a it's a book that you can read in one day it has maybe one and 150 pages so please do check it out the next book i want to talk about is the boy and his dog by seishu hase so now this book is nothing like she and her cat this has a cute central character called tamon but i don't know i hesitate calling the dog cute the, the dog is sage like i think the correct adjective would be sage it's a mixed breed between labrador and some kind of other breed and the dog comes into lives of six different people in six interconnecting stories and they they are some people who are going through tough times it's set on the background of the northeastern earthquake in japan uh, and tsunami after a year after the tsunami and the disa natural disaster so people are going through rough times and these characters human characters are all morally gray and they are about to commit crimes or are committing crimes or doing something bad but there is a good reason for it they have been dealt a rough hand to begin with and they are trying to protect their loved ones by doing these morally great things and the dog can sense their sadness their loneliness and it goes with them for a little bit for being there for them and it's 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 a dark story it gets intense at some points but i quite enjoyed it it got a little bit repetitive why one concern about this was there was so many repetitions of the how people discover the dog and how they describe the dog and their experiences of initially having the dog come with them to their houses they were repetitive but it's not a bad book you should check it out definitely i read it in japanese and that was a really fun experience but this was really good so you should check it out it i gave it a four stars up next is walking practice this was a new release uh, it is a korean book translated to english and it is written by an author called dolki min i think it's their pen name and they appear in the media interviews only with a mask on and it's very mysterious situation and it is translated by anton her who is a very famous translator from korean to english and this book is about an alien called Moo Moo and the name is cute but the photo is quite scary. The illustration on the cover was also apparently sent by Dolky Min uh, while when they were 
uh, sending the manuscript for publishing and it, it's a trip <laughs> and the Mumu is uh, stuck on the earth and they can't go back to their planet and they have to survive on eating humans it's the basic premise of everything but at the same time they are looking for human connection or connection not human connection just connection and love and they are uh, on these different dating apps and because they are an alien they have this ability to shape shift and become the exact type of person the other person on the app is looking for so that they can go and meet them hook up with them and kill them and eat them and it's very scary and it talks about in a meta metaphorical way how being queer is difficult you can't really get connections very easily if you are somebody who is not accepted in the society in especially societies where they don't accept queer people i think it is a metaphor for that and uh, there is a possibility of actual violence and that's scary and that's what this book talks about and it's very gory scary so if it, it's and horror like i don't usually go for a horrors but it was interesting so i gave it a four out of five stars the next book is the rope artist by fuminori nakamura and it was an impulse read like i was I had a big list of books that I had to read but I was procrastinating so I just started reading this and it, it seemed intriguing but it's kind of a flop I think for me I gave it two stars it's about this club where people are practicing BDSM and rope bondage and there is a lot of things about how Japanese culture has the significance of hemp rope in its Shinto religion or Buddhist religion and how they, there is some like characters who are very very morally gray again and one police detective is trying to save a suspect who i think he thinks that has committed a murder there are lots of murders and lots of like these clubs doing illegal activities and everybody is like betraying each other and then there is like japanese nationalist fanatic character out of nowhere then there is a lot of random cultural references which sounded cool at the time but they were quite random and i didn't connect with the book at all so i gave it two stars the next book that i want to talk about is yellow face by rebecca f kwang or rf kwang and i made a separate video talking about it going on and on and on for half an hour and it was amazing book it is about publishing industry and how wild it is and how racism affects people in the publishing industry and there is plagiarism involved and it's not very rare as rare as you think it's quite present everywhere <laughs> and people would go to uh, any lens to get published and to get famous and it's it's a wild ride so the story is of two friends one is white one is asian american and the asian american one has a lot of success with her books and she is a millionaire very successful at the age of 27 and the asian one and the white one who is the same age whose first book flops she doesn't have a, a lot of money and she's kind of resenting the asian one for it they are hanging out this this weird tension between them and the asian one chokes on some food and in a freak accident dies in front of uh, the white author and sh the white author just steals the asian author's magnum opus uh, a manuscript that she hasn't shared with anyone else and she just publishes it under her own name and she's just like full-on Karen mode afterwards and doubles down on everything uh, just just goes with it even if she's criticized it's it's wild so you should check it out <laughs> and also check out my video I'll link it somewhere next book is Heart Cell by Hudson Lin now this was a something this was something different uh, male male romance that I picked up because I was a little bit tired of the doom and gloom of the book that I was reading this month and it was it has an asian author so i could fulfill my asian readathon prompt because of this and it was a fun ride it's a story about this guy danny who is very successful and he is kind of crushing on his best friend's little brother tobin and tobin family is the one who have supported Danny throughout his childhood and in the youth as well because his family did not have a lot of money and a lot of support single parent home and that's why 
Danny is a little hesitant about getting into relationship with to- Toby because uh, I, he doesn't want to piss off his best friend and his family, uh, who is the elder brother of Toby, his best friend. Uh, and it's it's very complicated in the beginning, and then they kind of have a very 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 uh, sizzling chemistry <laughs> let's say and they have there is a lot of spice there is a lot of like sexy scenes in this one it was fun and because of that chemistry that palpable chemistry they can't resist each other and they kind of fall in love also and how they get over all the hurdles it's the story i i, I might, wouldn't mind reading the next installment in this series as well i can't remember the name but i'll put a cover somewhere here <laughs> so this was a good one i liked it i gave it a four star as well the next one is sean and maguire's beneath the sugar sky it was the third installment in the wayward children series that i've been reading one every month and i won't spoil anything uh, this book was also as magical as wonderful as the first two it's about the children who have gone to magical worlds like narnia and come back to the original world and are lost and some are wanting to get desperately go want to go back to the magical worlds and waiting their uh, time bidding their time at the school for children wayward children that is run by this woman called eleanor west and she's also somebody who had gone to a magical world and waiting for going back and this is like a ya fantasy genre which is not usually my genre but this is very heartwarming and this is very lovely so i would recommend it highly highly i give it a five stars and last but not the least i read dance 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 by haruki murakami now this is a book about a guy who keeps gravitating to this strange hotel called the dolphin hotel where he had met a man with a sheep mask on and there are some significant events that have happened to him there was a woman with him at the hotel who disappeared there was a best friend in his life who died for some reason and a lot of things have happened in his life that has made him wanting want to take a break from work and go back again to the hotel and find the root cause of the mystery but we can't know what exactly happened because this is the third book in the trilogy called the rat trilogy and i read it out of order which is my fault but it was okay to read in on a stand alone basis as well it had all the fixings of the murakami books like the middle aged lonely sad man <laughs> and overly sexualized female characters yikes i did not enjoy that part but other descriptions minute descriptions like the meals that he makes the whiskey that he drinks the music that he listens to how she, he kills time when he doesn't have anything to do then how he interacts with his friend asks his help to find this woman that has gone missing how he goes down the rabbit hole metaphorically and it was quite interesting in that way it's sort of almost comforting for some reason i, I mean it's wild it, i don't think people will describe murakami as comforting but for me it was and i did not the the women characters just were not up to the mark like they were just overly sexualized and the minor 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 girls uh, in the book i i can't deal with it it gives me ache when murakami does that but at least in this case he is kind of in a this middle aged man is kind of being a paternal figure father figure to this little girl not little girl but she's quite young she's probably i don't know 14 15 i don't know very young 13 14 and i don't know maybe it's a cultural thing that you can talk about certain things about these women or young women in japanese culture and people will not bat an eye but it's just not good <laughs> but other than that it was not a bad one i gave it a 3.5 stars out of 5 and on that note i have read nine books for three readathons asian readathon by cindy with cindy then misery may lot of these books were really miserable <laughs> and they were for scott and gems 
रीड थॉन मिजरी में एंड मेंटल हेल्थ में लाइक आई रेड सम बुक्स अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ में लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू डाई बट आई वॉन्ट टू ईट तो पक्की एंड अदर बुक्स ऑल्सो हैड द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज एंड आई क्वाइट लाइक those as well reading about those so i think overall this month was a very successful reading month for me how was your reading month please let me know what was your favorite book that you read in the month of may and i will talk to you in my next video until then take care and bye bye